Belfast City Council are going to fly an armed forces flag for the day. What we're saying is that this City Hall and the civic leaders within that City Hall have yet to recognise the impact of British Army violence in our community, right across the community, over four decades, not alone the occupation of our country. It's unacceptable. It's triumphalist. Following the coming home parade that the controversy surrounded last year, the import of that uh, request and decision would have been well known, and therefore it is provocative. We're here to say that the victims of British state violence, the victims of collusion, the victims of torture, internment, ill treatment, all of the policies of the British government that were carried out by the British Army in our country will not go uh, unannounced. We're here to say that there's a shameful history of the British Army in our country, and that needs to be told as well, and it needs to be reflected. Republicans have been saying for some time that the City Hall is our City Hall as well. Is it our city? Is it your City Hall? Well, it's our city, but the reality is there's a unionist majority in the council and that union of majorities voted to fly the flag. Now, there are legal issues around that in regards to the equality duties of the, of the, uh, the city leaders, but the city hall itself reflects a tradition of militarist British history. It doesn't reflect the history of Irish culture, Irish nationalism, or indeed Irish people that have been murdered by the British Army. That needs to change, and we're going to signal that that has to change and be by being here and by engaging with the people in City Hall. They ensure the experience of people affected by collusion and shoot to kill, plastic and rubber bullets, uh, interment, ill treatment, and all of the policies that were part and package of the British uh, occupation of our country will be also reflected. So being here today is that message is being sent loud and clear. First of all, I'd just like to thank people for coming along here this morning and making the effort to turn out. Obviously, it's quite important that uh, our story is told against the backdrop of City Hall, which tomorrow's going to fly an armed uh, services flag to commemorate the British Army. Now, obviously, through Paul Mosky and Donny Lovery, who is the Deputy Mayor, we had a meeting yesterday with Naomi Long, in which a number of relatives represented their concerns about the inability of Belfast City within civic spaces to reflect equally the experience of people affected through collusion, shoot to kill, rubber and plastic bullets, ill treatment and internment, and the general experience that the British Army have represented to our community and indeed sections of unionist community and loyalist communities that have also had people affected by that violence but who are unable to speak out. The, the City Hall is traditionally a unionist bastion. It has been broken in many ways in terms of equality, but the last remaining, one of the last remaining visible signs of it is within it there isn't the reflection of our particular experience. That message was enforced yesterday and brought to Naomi Long. There was an understanding of its absence and a commitment to engage with the Good Relations Committee and to begin a consultation and a dialogue about how we change that. We welcome that. For too long, our experience has been excluded. We know why it's been excluded. People don't want to recognise the, the almost 400 people killed by the British Army directly and the hundreds of people affected by the policy, particularly of collusion. Our presence here is a, is a commitment to ensuring our experience won't be airbrushed out of history, but neither do we want the airbrush out the unionist experience. We simply want, and it needs to be understood, our experience doesn't pose a threat to anybody. It needs to be acknowledged and recognised and it needs to be reflected. Being here today is a sense of that. The flag will fly tomorrow, they'll have their day. It needs to be inclusive. We need to take that inclusive agenda on an equal basis forward and we need to ensure everything that we can do in terms of making that uh, City Hall and all the civic spaces across the city reflect our experience. So that's the task of work ahead. It's challenging for unionists. It needs to happen and it will happen. That we can assure you. Gormila Moigat. Well, the Relatives for Justice called uh, a demonstration. Basically, it's uh, an issue of quality. There were victims of the armed forces, of the British armed forces. There's going to be flags raised tomorrow by the armed forces. It only uh, celebrates if, if, or commemorates the people who died in the armed forces. What we want to say is there were victims of the British armed forces here, a very substantial number. We're releasing something like 70 uh, balloons here to represent the number of children killed by the state forces here. I think it's very important that we don't have a hierarchy of victims. It's very important to make that statement. And the Relatives for Justice uh, you know, asked me as an elected representative to come down and uh, support that. That's why I'm here. We're standing outside the City Hall. The City Hall should be the first place in Belfast to represent all the victims and survivors in Belfast and to do it on an equal basis as opposed to having this hierarchical view 
that it's okay if you were in the British Armed Forces, uh, the suffering of, of relatives of people who died in the British Armed Forces is okay, but not if you were killed uh, by the, the, the British Armed Forces or indeed by any other organisation or combatant force uh, during the conflict, and that is absolutely wrong. So the message here today is that the Council, which represents all the people in Belfast, should give a start, should show leadership and deal with this as an issue of equality. One person suffering is the same as any other person suffering uh, in terms of conflict. I'm here today as Deputy Lord Mayor of Belfast and Councillor for North Belfast, Sinn Féin Councillor for North Belfast. But I'm mostly here today as a relative who has lost a brother and a nephew through the Troubles. They were murdered by loyalists who were supplied by the British Army and Brian Nelson with guns. Uh, all we are asking for is equality. That if a British soldier is shot dead or killed, he is recognised. The Maori is going to be recognised when they fly this flag above the City Hall. All we are asking for is equality. That we are recognised the victims aren't forgotten. Because our pain is as much sorrowful as anybody else's pain. Over Sinn Féin are here uh, to support the relatives here in their, in their fight for justice. Uh, we stood beside the relatives hand in hand the whole way through their, their tough journey and uh, trying to find uh, their quest for truth to, to prove that the, the British Army were involved in collusion. They were involved in a lot of dirty tricks throughout the years in the conflict in Ireland. And uh, it's, it's just not only here in Ireland that, that they've been involved in, in that sort of behaviour. It's like abroad in Iraq and Afghanistan, they're, they're, uh, they're, colluding, they're colluding with the rich and the wealthy. They're, they're doing their best, they, they oppress, oppress the working class everywhere and uh, we in Oversham Féin are, are doing our best to, to highlight the issues and uh, to make a public aware of what's happening here.